You're watching the SCAC Player of the Week interviews. It's week eight of the 2021 SCAC fall season, and today we're joined by the SCAC Men's Soccer Co-Offensive Player of the Week, freshman forward Danny Castro of the University of St. Thomas Celts. And Danny, congratulations and thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, I would th thank you for the thank you for the opportunity of of this interview. Danny, you and the rest of your Kelt teammates currently tied second on the SCAC table standings with 14 total points coming off an outstanding weekend, getting a result in a 1-1 tie against Trinity, handing the Tigers their first non-win of the season. And then you follow that up with a huge 2-1 double overtime victory over Colorado College. This team is now unbeaten in five straight fixtures. What is the confidence level of this group right now as you head into the final weekend of the regular season, and what's really working well for this team uh, that you can really continue to build on going into this last uh, couple of games of the, of the regular season? Uh, I feel like our <clears throat> I feel like our confidence is very high. Um, practice has been going great. Uh, you know, we've been we've been we've been keeping a high intensity practices uh, very competitive, uh, and we being being in uh, tied for second place right now. It's um, it's it kind of puts some pressure on us, but but the way that the, the way that this team is um perf the way that this, this team is performing and how how um how intense our trainings are right now and the confidence level I feel like I feel like we'll be able to to maintain and hopefully uh, continue the unbeaten streak. Danny, uh, individually, you were outstanding this past weekend, specifically in that 2-1 to -one win over Colorado College. You ring home both goals in the double overtime victory to secure three huge points uh, for, for you and, and the rest of your teammates. Take me through that uh, that game individually. How were you able to be so successful, and specifically that game winner? How did it unfold, and, and what was the, the feeling like uh, to come through for your team in that situation? Uh, it, felt, it, felt, it felt really great. Um... It was just uh, the preparation before the game. It was just it was all there. Everything was clicking. Every every pass was perfect. Everything felt everything just felt perfect, and um, it just felt really good. And uh, I was just I was just really happy and glad because it was the it was a senior day for for our seniors. And um, just when uh when our when my teammate Alex Shockley uh, cleared the ball and and I saw it bounce right in front of me, and I just I hit it and I saw it hit the post and. I got I got scared for a second, and then I just saw I hit the net, and that's when I just turned to my teammates, and everybody was just running, and it just felt really great to to get those three points that day. I mentioned Danny in your freshman season, you've been outstanding since uh, coming on to campus there in Houston and, and joining this Celts men's soccer program. You've played in all 14 games, you made five starts, you now have seven goals, two assists on the season for a total of 16 points. How have you been able to make that jump from the club high school level to, to your first year in the college game? What's been that biggest transition, biggest difference you've noticed uh, making that leap that you've been able to do so successfully? Uh, it was definitely a big transition for me, um, co uh, considering the fact that college, the, the speed is very different. The, the speed in college is, uh, is it's, it's faster than, than high school, and um, I, just, I, just, I just believed in myself, and... Uh, and I just I feel like if I if I believe in myself and I just uh, put it in my mind that that I can do it then then um, it will, it would all just work out and uh, thankfully it's been working out to to this point and um, yeah. And finally, Danny, uh, looking ahead uh, to this weekend, obviously a couple of huge fixtures for you and your teammates. What's the message been like this week going into into the possibility of possibly you know securing the number one seed into the SEAC tournament uh, if everything falls uh, in place? What what has training been like? What what has coach uh, really been trying to to focus this team on uh, team in on as you head into the weekend? Uh, practice has been it's been it's been good. Um, we've been. Coach has been trying to to get us mentally prepared for this weekend because it's it, we're playing against two two good teams and 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 they're they're teams that can beat anyone just like on their day they could beat anyone on on our days we can beat anyone and we just have to we just have to be mentally prepared and we just have to stay we just have to stay uh, switched on at at any given moment because you never know how how a game can end up going. A native of Houston, Texas, in this week's SCAC Men's Soccer Co-Offensive Player of the Week, freshman forward Danny Castro of the University of St. Thomas Celts. Danny, again, congratulations on your honor and best of luck as you continue to move forward throughout your freshman season. Thank you. Thank you.